Hi guys, this is Captain Screech from Aruba Bound Charters. This evening I'm going to show you guys here alongside with Christina how to rig a perfect swimming ballyhoo for trolling wahoo, tuna, mahi, kingfish, billfish, all of the big game fish. This is how I like to do my ballyhoo. To start off with, you have to break the beak off. When you go to break the beak, you use your thumb as a lever, you push down on the tip of the beak and it will snap. When it snaps, you pull back. You pull back, there's going to be a small piece of meat that comes off. You want this piece of meat to come off. That exposes a groove in the bottom of the ballyhoo's jaw. That's where your wire is gonna lay up. Next, you're gonna pop the eyes out. Right now I don't have a needle or a dowel. I use a knife, just pull the eyes out. exposing the inner skull. Oops. <laughs> I got some of the juice on my lap. Lovely. Yikes. Yeah, that's okay. definitely perfect, perfect commentary. It's fun. It's fun. For the video. <laughs> All right. Once you're done doing that, another thing, especially if you're gonna refreeze your bait, bait you gotta poop them. To poop them, you flip the belly hill over, take your thumb, you run it from the throat, down. You need not press your nail in, you just run your finger back and you're going to see the poop come out of the anal socket. If there is poop, it'll come out. If there's Ooh, none, it will mine's coming out. Fun. Okay. More? Yeah. I'm doing two, so. Yeah. Okay. Mine's good. When you're done pooping your belly hoop, you're going to grab your rig. These are one of my rigs that I created in another video. This has a chin weight, so does hers, so does this one. Some of them have different weights, others don't. This is three quarter, three eighth ounce. This is half ounce. To rig your ballyhoo, first you line up your chin weight into the chin of the ballyhoo and your hook eyelid into the gill plate. You mark it with your finger Pull your belly hoop straight, mark with your finger. With this? A little more forward. Forward, this forward, mm. forward, forward. Right there. Ooh. Okay. You mark with your hand where the incision is supposed to be. You grab the tip of the hook, you just press the tip in to make a small incision so you know that's where your hook tip comes out. Oh, this is hard. Okay. Easy. Okay. That looks a little far back. Too far back? Yeah, I can tell. So should I move it up? That's gonna be like up here. Look, too far back still? It's right there. When you read it, you're gonna see. Should I move it up? Move it just, up. just do it, you'll see. Okay. Don't keep poking holes in okay. it because you're gonna screw up the bait. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Next, you're gonna grab your thumb, run it into the side of the gill plate, exposing the gills, take the hook point, insert it into the throat of the ballyhoo above all of the gills. Make sure you don't pop it out on the opposite side of the gill plate because that's not good. When you're doing this, be careful because you can tear the gills out. Mm -hmm. And if you tear the gills or the throat of the ballyhoo, bait is worthless. Oh. You round it in. Mm -hmm. And you curl your bait. And you find that hole that you made with your hook point. And you run it through. This is the tough part, huh? When you get to pulling the eye in, you roll your hook to the side so you don't break the face of the ballyhoo or the head. Make sure all of your connections are laying straight. Mm -hmm. You saddle the head around, push it down, push it in, push it in, push it in, stop, grab the hook, pull it back, twist. Good? Looks like it, yeah. Okay. This wire. You pass it around the top of the head of the ballyhoo. This one? Yep. Top okay. of the head of the ballyhoo. Mm -hmm. Flip it over. Flip it over. Okay. So you can see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Open the other side of the gill plate. Insert oh. the wire in there. Okay. And pull it. This and is you, slippery. Okay. You want to have it looking like this. Put your ballyhoo back like this. Okay. 
Make sure your connection is laying straight. Mm -hmm. You're gonna run your wire from be with chin weighted behind it first. Behind meaning in the eyeball? Okay. Behind the weight into the eyeball. Okay. The first one is going to close only one side of the gill plate. You run it through it twice. That's gonna close up the entire gill plate. And you pull it tight. Tight enough to cinch it down, not break the bait. Okay. Good or no? Tighter. Tighter. Look at the difference. Okay, like that. That's in there, no? That's pretty good, no? Too tight? Twice behind, twice in front. Oh. Through the eye socket again. Through the eye socket, but then in front. With the, of the wire ball. in front of the weight. Again, pulling it down tight, cinching it down. Pass it through the eye socket twice. One. Two. Pull it tight. Okay. When you're done pulling it tight in front of the the weight, you got to run it through the center of the jaw, from bottom up. So here. Center of the jaw, bottom up. Press it through. Mm, I guess it went through. Nope. Got to go through the top lip. Maybe I put my glasses on for this one. Okay. Again, pull it tight. Up oh, that. Replace it. And do it again. Yep, perfect. And then this way? Back. This way? Yeah. Pull it tight. This wire is a little finicky. Because it's old. Hmm. Do you use you're reusing old copper wire you're gonna have some difficulties passing it through the jaw there you have some patience you'll get it through i got it i got it okay okay once you're done pulling it through twice you're gonna wrap it around the beak and around the wire make sure the wire is in the groove of the bill mm -hmm. and wrap it forward Four. twisting it around the bill and the wire together to make sure that the ballyhoo will always track straight I don't think I have enough wire. You should, because the wires are all the same. No, it's not. When you're done wrapping the copper around the bill and the wire, you pull your leader and you pull the tail of your ballyhoo to check if your ballyhoo is bulging up on the hook or becoming a banana. Now, pull on yours, Christina. Grab the tail. Pull on it. You see right here? He's twisty. Exactly. So it's crooked. Which means you like have this. to make an adjustment with your knife. You're going to grab a paring knife right next to the hook and make a small slit. Small. You want to, the least amount of holes you have in the bait, the better, the longer it'll last. Okay. And when you're done, you slide your lure if you have one on, on your leader. If not, you put a skirt or you control it naked. And you call it a day. What do you think? I'm gonna investigate and see right now. The skirt is not for this. I need my scissors. I've never done this before. Before I met you, the only boat I'd ever been on was the Staten Island Ferry. Just so you know. Oh, no wonder. Yeah. My, so look I at me. If I can do it, you can do it. I need scissors to fix the skirt for it, anyways. Let's see. Christina's I don't think there's enough wire on the tip. No, your not problem, your not problem, your problem is there's not tight enough, and so you see. also did this weirdness here. So let's see. Watch how I can fix this real quick.
It's short, right? No, the way I just passed it mm. through the same hole, I missed the I missed the second time. Better. What do you mean better? Perfect. Then. That's how you fix it. Your Islander lures up. Just keep in mind, guys. Bait fish. If you look at any bait fish, dark colors on top, light colors on bottom. All your Islander lures, the dark color, be it black, blue, purple, whatever color is on top, the lighter color is always on the bottom. Voila. I need my scissors so I can fix this fucking retarded skirt. Good job. Hey, you want to see it done in at normal pace? Rapid speed. Yeah, let's see it's on a rapid speed. Yeah, okay, because that took 12 minutes. Let's see. Is that Alright guys, this is the finished product of rigging the ballyhoo. This is how you store them, you twist the line up, keep it from getting all tangled up. This is what your ballyhoo should look like at the end. Before you put this in the water, you're going to press the back here towards the tail to crunch it up, or you can wiggle this back and forth and limber up the tail. You do not want your ballyhoo to swim like a snake, you want it to swim like a bait fish. Bait fish do not swim like this, they swim like this. Just the tail, not the whole body. All right, so if you see people limbering up an entire ballyhoo, not good, no bueno. And again, to store your line, we'll make a couple of wraps. The tip where that goes to your rod, twist around the line a few times to help Hold it in place, and there you go. When you're done, you grab your bait bag, you lay your baits down nice and beautiful in your bait bag, store them in the freezer. Next time you go out fishing, thaw them out, ready to rock and roll. You don't have to rig bait before you go out. Always keep your baits cold, chilled, to dead body. As it sits in the heat, it decomposes. All right? How was that, Christina? Was it easy or not? Uh, it was easy. I, you know, like I said, having no experience, um, you're a good teacher. But um, definitely take some practice. Yeah. Muscle memory is key. You might mess up a few. Sometimes if the baits don't come properly brined or they're old baits that have been frozen for a while when you thaw them out and you start rigging them they might fall apart 
But hey, if that happens, just pull it off the hook, get a new one, and re-rig it. You'll be fine. Alright? And remember, when you're pulling ballyhoo, tops, 30 to 45 minutes, and that's kind of stretching it. You don't want to be pulling baits that long because over time they do start falling out and washing out as they say meaning that water intrudes into the bait either expands the belly cavity and pops it open or it tears the entire back half of the belly hook apart because of water resistance and being waterlogged and the meat just falling off the box so make sure you do not over pull your belly hook or troll them in the water remember to always keep your eye on them check them change them if you see them looking a little pale a little off color take that bait out of water re-rig it send out a new fresh bait all right it's captain screech christina see you guys next time bye